So a while ago, I posted a video called how to save data from an API to your bubble database. And in that video, I showed you how to loop through data you're receiving from an API by using the schedule an API workflow on a list action. I also mentioned near the end of that video that this method wouldn't work well for larger lists of data because it's just way too slow and that there are better ways to approach this problem for larger lists. I received quite a few requests to show some of these other methods, and that's what we're going to look at in this video. We'll look at Bubble's bulk API endpoint, which, while still not as fast as one would like it to be, allows you to insert up to 1,000 rows of data at a time into your Bubble database. So if that sounds good, and if you're enjoying this channel and the content I produce, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get into the video. Okay, so this is the part of the documentation that we're going to take a look at, where it says bulk create new things. I'll leave a link to this in the description of this video. But you can see that Bubble saying, if you need to create many new things in a single operation, you can do it more efficiently via sending a post request to the type name bulk endpoint. So for the sake of this demo, what we're going to do is we're going to make an API request to this JSON placeholder right over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get a list of to do's. This is just going to be dummy data returned to us from an API. And we're going to take all 200 to do's that we receive and insert them into our bubble database using that bulk endpoint there. Each to do looks like this. And in order to actually take these to do's and put them into our bubble database, we of course need to start by creating a data type in bubble. So let's head over to the editor and we'll do that. I'm just going to create a data type called to do and we'll create three new fields. I'm going to create ID, which will be a number. We'll create title, which will be a text. And we'll create completed, which is going to be a yes or a no. I'm going to just ignore this user ID up here that we get back. Now that we've created this to do data type, we need to go into our settings here and make sure that this enable data API checkbox is checked. And then also this to do right here is checked as well. Let's go to the API connector now and we'll start setting up some of these API connections. So we'll put both API calls that we're going to make, one of which will be to JSON placeholder, one of which will be to our own bubble app that we're inserting data into. Um, and let's just call this uh, bulk API demo. So the first call that we'll make will be to get to do's and we'll make a get request to this endpoint right here. If we initialize that call, that should work just fine for us. There's all that data that we're getting back. Now let's set up the trickier call, which is going to be to that bulk endpoint. So we'll say insert to do's. This is going to be a post request. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the post request to our own app. So we'll just copy this right now and change a few things here. Um, if we look at the documentation, Bubble's saying that we need to make a post request to everything looks the same. So far, we just need to add the type name here and then bulk at the end as well. So we'll say the type name is going to be to do, I believe we called it, yeah, and bulk. Okay. Now, there are a few other things that we have to change. We are going to change the body type here to be raw. We're also going to add in a header that says content type is equal to text slash plain. All of this stuff, by the way, if you, you can just go through the documentation and bubble lays out nicely what they want you to do inside of the documentation here. Okay. Now what we'll do here inside of the body of the request, since we're sending it raw, we'll say we want a dynamic value. Let's just call this to do's. Okay. And we will uncheck this as private. And the way that we have to send this data is in a very specific way. We have to send one object JSON format per line like this. So every single object would be on a new line. We'll go into, we'll look at how to do this in the editor in a second, but to initialize this call. So for example, like if we are adding 
multiple like this, each one would be on a new line, just like that. And we'll look at how to format this in the editor, but just for the sake of initializing this call, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paste one of these into this value box right here. And we'll also change the data type, the response that we're receiving back to be a text response. Now, if we do, if we initialize the call right now, I believe we're going to get an error and it says permission denied, you cannot create this object. So one thing that's really important is we have to go into the database here and actually set up some privacy rules for our new to do that will allow um, people to create new to do's via the API. And because the reason you see this right here is because we went into settings and actually checked off that our data API was enabled and also that to-dos were exposed there too. Now you obviously, you wanna be careful with this stuff and you wanna take privacy rules seriously and not just allow anyone to create stuff via the API like I'm doing right now, but that's beyond the scope of this video and we're not gonna talk about privacy rules. For now, let's go back to the API connector and if we initialize this call, there we go, we see this, we receive a successful response that's going to look like this. So, so far so good. Let's delete this for now. And all we're gonna do is go to our test page. So when I click on this button, what we're going to do is we're going to, let's just make sure that we've said that we wanna use this as an action. And we'll also, uh, we can keep that as a data call actually. So what we'll do is we'll start a workflow here. When button create is clicked, we are going to plugins, bulk API demo, insert to-dos. And the to-dos that we're going to get here are going to come from this API. So we're going to say insert dynamic data, get data from an external API. The API provider is going to be right here, bulk API demo, get to-dos. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say format as text. So the content to show per list item, this is going to be really important. Let's just actually paste this here. We're going to say ID is equal to this get to do's ID. The title is equal to this get to do's title and completed is equal to this get to do's completed. If you've never used this format as text operator before, I would definitely recommend reading up the reading up on the documentation there. It's a really, really handy operator that we can use for a number of different use cases inside of Bubble. I use it all the time. And in this case, you can see what it's doing is we're receiving this response of to-dos that look like this. This operator is looping through each item on this list and formatting it in a certain way so that each item is going to be, each item on this list is going to be formatted like this or that this operator rather is going to return a list of items that are like this the delimiter what separates each separates each item on that list in this case we're just going to put a space here because that's how bubble wants us to interact with this bulk api endpoint so i'm going to click close here and hopefully if we've done everything right let's just preview this and we'll see how fast this works compared to what we did before it's not it's not instantaneous, but let's click create. There we go. And if we go to our database here and we look at our to-dos, let's refresh the page. Looks like I screwed something up. All right, guys, one quick thing I ran into when I was uh, testing all of this stuff out and actually trying to make this work is that um, Bubble was having some challenges dealing with this completed field right over here. Originally, when we were going through before, this was set to a yes or no um, because this was coming back as a Boolean from JSON placeholder. But this bulk endpoint was having issues reading this as JSON. So all that I did, just so that we're on, on the same page in case you were following along, all I did was I deleted that uh, previous completed field that was a yes, no. I created a new field called completed that was a text. And that's what we will work with here. And this, this seems to be working. So 
uh, just a quick little change there. But what we're going to do again is go and set this up now. So this is going to be get data from an external API. This is going to be um, get to do's. And we're going to say format as text. And the content that we're going to show per list item, the ID will be equal to this get to do's ID. That's still a number, so we don't need quotes around it. But both of these now are going to be strings. So we'll say this get to do's title. And completed, we'll set to this get to do's completed. And for the delimiter here, we'll put this space in. And let's try to preview this and see if it works. We currently, at the moment, have no to do's in our database. When we make this request, we should get back 200. So we should see pretty quickly 200 to do's get created. Now, if I click create, let's take a look and see what happens. You can see that this is taking a little bit of time here to create 200. And in your case too, you might need to play around with um, with the timing of things, depending on uh, on how much you want to insert. You know, if you're inserting more than a thousand two, there are ways to kind of loop through that and, and make requests one at a time to this bulk endpoint to insert many items. But you can see that that didn't take too long. Definitely faster than um, the schedule API workflow on a list to create two hundred items. And we have two hundred to dos here inside of our database, just like that. So. I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, if you're confused about anything, please do leave those in the comments. Uh, if you found this helpful, make sure to like the video, show some love, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.